Hey. Hello. We got that statue. <laughs> Was that freaking motif everywhere in this damn dungeon? Yeah. Ah. If you know, you know, right? Look at the babies. When they were so smaller. Hey, look, it still had a wing back then. Yeah, it stood the test of time. Mm. Yo, they're like, look way too clean. Uh oh. Ooh, oh yeah. This is why you shouldn't get so close to a freaking armored armor. Yeah, I forgot how brutal this starts out with this group they're with. Oh, yeah, look at the sword he has. Yeah. The armored guy's sword. Yeah. Oi, done it. Hey. Nope, didn't do it. Oof. Ouch. Yeah. Dude, it's a freaking armor. Why would you think it would taste anything? It tastes like metal. You know, people would fear anything. His first thought is, damn, I want to eat thing that, that looks cool. Dude, it's an armor. Wait, you don't want to know the taste of metal? Ew. Did he just say the leather? Yes. He is actually thinking about it. Stop it. Stop it. He's so sad. Incoming? It's on a move. I thought we were supposed to keep running. Well, oh. one's in the way. Why are there more than usual? Hmm, how would you deal with armor that's gonna keep just preparing itself? Destroy it and then just make a run for it because it's gonna keep coming back. Just hammer it up. Yeah. Or push them all to a side if you can put them all in one area and box them. So I don't know about you, but I'm noticing the face art is slightly different. Mm -hmm. Not in a bad way, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. They, they suddenly developed thought. Well, no, his younger... Are you talking about, like, the younger version of him earlier? They look different. No, like, even now. Oh. What, what about the other three? <laughs> Good luck, you. All right, that's cool. Volunteer. Nah, I think the one who uh, mentioned it should go. Plus, you're more durable with your armor, man. Like, my friends and I used to have a rule. We were in, the wait. first one to suggest an idea does it. Yes. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> these armors are having the looks. Yeah, did you see it? It looks, like, really good. Open oh, the door. Ooh. Would you live in a place like that? Uh, if it was fixed up, yes. Oh. My, my ideal home is still just oh cool armor cool armor Ooh. my ideal home is living in the outer shell of a castle with the inside being modern technology all right yo this one looks different bro it's a dark souls boss <laughs> <laughs> yeah see that's what i said the leg legs never mind oh uh, no he stopped oh Ooh, dang, that's some leg muscle. That's some armor muscle. Right. Well, no. Is it muscle if it's just armor? Uh, I guess not. But what is it kicking with if it has no muscle? Huh? Eh? What? Oh, what? reaction? What kind of an armor protects its shield? This was the part in the manga where I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying anything because I remember. <laughs> oh, look at that dog. Look at this animation. Ew. Oh my god, he's having a brain blast. <laughs> he's having an all my brain blast moment. Oh my god. Yeah, Z, like, why would you protect mm. your armor? Your armor's supposed to be protecting you. Right. Oh. Oh, that's what he's looking at. This man pays attention. That is true. It's like, wait a minute. If it doesn't have any eyes, why would it purposely look? Oh. oh. If they live, they can get stabbed. <laughs> if it's alive, it can die. Okay. You can never, eat them. never mind. I was gonna say, if it lives, it can die. No, if it lives, you can eat it. <laughs> Not that you can defeat it, but they're finally edible. Let's go, Panty Shot of Senshi! Oh, oh my Fuck god, you yeah. beat me to it. <laughs> now that's the fan service we crave around here. <laughs> you beat me to it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that was fucking great. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> She stole the whole freaking scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Good stuff. This is why we watch the show. Ooh, slime. Yeah, it could be a slime. Hmm. Oh, a swarm? Oh, a buggo. He's like smart though to be thinking about this. Mm hmm. This is where his true expertise as this is why he is the leader, despite how, <laughs> how a little bit off kilter he is about wanting to eat shit. <laughs> He's actually smart in very handy ways. Yeah. What's in it? Hmm. There's a what now? Oh. Oh. 
Eu, eu. Oh. Eu. Moos. Oh, yeah, this shell. is this is such a cool fucking way to like handle magic cursed Moving armor that you armor. Like, this in, in fantasy. Like this is given the logic that it's a mollusk controlling a shell. Yeah. I've it's... never seen this thought until this series. It's using yeah. the damn armor as a shell, and they're yeah. moving as a as a unit. Yeah. It's so fucking cool. Genius, right? Genius. Like I swear, this author had to be studying some kind of biology. Yeah. This is a series made Not by bio. a biologist that that wants the ecology to make perfect sense yeah wearing the dungeons and dragons inspiration on their sleeve and, and like what, uh, the, what, the, what did you see that supposedly when baldur's gate 3 came out the author was taking a break to play a lot of baldur's gate uh, see this <laughs> they this know is, what they like see this is why you should give people a break to let them do whatever they want it's like you know what i'm gonna take a month off to just let me do whatever i want yeah it's like let me have my creative juices flowing again I want to eat it. I want to slurp it. It actually kind of looks tasty. Like, if you like seashell, Not seashells. Like slugs or something? No, not slugs. You know what I mean? Like, if you ever open up a mollusk... Look at it! <laughs> Look at his face! Oh Fucking unhinged! <laughs> 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 we call that an otaku. An otaku for eating stuff? Yes, that's like a very distinctive way to figure out if someone is an otaku when they start talking really fast about something they're really passionate about. Yeah. And then you can't get a word in because they're just like going and going and going. Like mm. a clam! Like a clam shell, no? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> His head is being dragged. Mm-hmm. He's like, what are these two talking about right now? That is disgusting. Man, I want to just, like, consume slug or mollusk. Yeah, look at those two. They're like, what are they talking about? Eating a damn armor. Since she's just happy to be, like, testing new things. Blah, blah, blah. Ah. Uh, good thing we're at the top of the food chain. Imagine some body or alien coming to find you and be like, hmm, let me just slice this open, see if I can eat this human. Right. Dude, dude, I want to eat it. It actually looks kind of good. Grilled Ooh. living armor. That one looks good. I don't know what the Steam hell that is. Steam living armor. <laughs> mm. You try it first. Yeah, it's armor, metal. Me forgetting temperatures exist. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> his face. Right? You eat it first. Right? <laughs> right? Right? See? You're the first. Yeah, for real. He's like, you could be the food taster. It could be poisonous. We don't know if it's going to make you sick or not. God, I want to eat it. Oh my god. I would still give it 24 hours before I actually ate it, just in case. In case anything kicks in. Yes, especially with mollusk. They even mention this, like, what if food poisoning happens later? A lot of people get, like, seafood poisoning. <laughs> yeah, that's why you gotta make sure you super heat up seafood. Yes, none of this- Unless you're, like, professional sushi master-esque, do not do this on your own. Hmm. Ew, it's probably the leather. Yeah, chewy. Ew! Massive rip. Look at him. <laughs> so happy. His one of his bucket lists accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess in this case, it's a armor list. Get it? Instead of it's a bucket. An edible list. Look at it. It's a cool wing Sephiroth sword. That's like both halves of Reaper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Did you see how fast? He instantly covered that shit. They cannot know what's here. Wait, so he doesn't want to eat it? He wants to keep it? He's keeping it around. You'll never know. Maybe There's you want a backup meal. Emergency backup food. A new companion. I don't know if I would call that a companion. <laughs> Putting this segment as two chapters to let it breathe, I think made this one so far the best episode. The armor. I was waiting for this stupid thing. Yeah. The early premise alone is enough to be like, you know what, I'm into it. But here's the bit where like, all right, this is where I think you'll start to really be like, I am into Laios. Like I said, the author is a genius. Like, hey, I never thought about that. That would be an interesting, like, if it was realistic, how do you make fantasy a tad bit realistic? I'm like, yeah, sure, why 
right now. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. I could believe that if our mollusk or like whatever sea slug creatures were taking over, I don't know, our pirate ship and they were manning it. And that's why yeah. you have sea ships floating around in random places. They're like, yeah, I believe it. Sure, why not? Yeah. The mollusk so armor really is just kind of like something from Moose UC, ain't it? Yeah, that's fun stuff. This show is great. This show gets some totally banger world building alongside everything else being great. Mm -hmm. This author did it all. Look at all of these look at all these lion with wings statues. <laughs> mm. Yeah, for real, what are you gonna do with it? Cool tools. I have pit stops, I these are my save points, okay? Mm. Man, speaking of save points, I cannot wait for like part two for FF seven to come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is rapidly approaching, you're right. Doesn't it come out on your birthday? It comes out within the week of my birthday. <laughs> You're not gonna see me. I'm probably not gonna see you. People aren't gonna see us because I'm gonna be gone for at least two months. I'm gonna be gaming. Mm -hmm. Knock knock. Golem. If I were in a fantasy world, golems are like a, just a giant teddy bear kind of thing. Totally depends on on how you make them. Like, cause they don't have to be like this. I know a, a muscular as fuck golems in games like Ogre Battle sixty four, for example. Oh, cause I'm like you, you can either make them amorphous blobs or you can, can make them like a JoJo. Totally up to how you want to do it. Wow. <laughs> Imagine growing your vegetables <laughs> on them. Oh. Damn the way everything interacts with stuff here is cool. I forget what that's called. Where you could have a terrarium that's like self-preserving or self-sustaining ecosystem if you do it right. Like you would make it and you never have to do anything to it. It just, everything is symbiotic and it'll sustain everything. Yeah, I think like frequently like it, like ant terrariums are a thing that some people have. Ant terrariums you still have to physically take care of because they can get too big. I'm talking about like a mini ecosystem with like a little lake fish, plant... And it oh sense. yeah. Ooh. Oh shit! <laughs> Regrowing golems. Aww, but I can't feel bad that they're stuck in this little square room. It's okay. They love it. They like getting cabbage growing out of them. I guess don't question like where they're getting their sunlight from, because plants need sun. I don't know if this place is getting any sunlight. They probably maybe wander, and also they are below a place where like it's bright as hell despite being underground. Oh yeah. Maybe also, they do wander. one of those things he is growing is potatoes, and they and it's potatoes. I know, it's not just potatoes, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. One of the things is potatoes, but also, you saw how, like, the first floor is bright as shit. I was gonna say that maybe the golems walk around into the sun. Yeah, because they don't actually wander outside of the dungeon, is the thing. But it is unnaturally bright, so it's probably, like, enough sunlight is getting through. Maybe these are, like, special cabbages that only need, like, a light from a torch. Mm hmm. Hmm. We're having veggie soup. Oh, okay, never mind. Fuck, I want some bacon. <laughs> a basilisk. Ooh. Desire. Also, I love something, <laughs> something that, that I like is that Marcel changed her hair. Oh, she tied it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that they all wait for her to eat first. <laughs> it was the most normal looking meal just What's now. What's the 1%? Ugh. What was the 1%? We will not know. <laughs> what do you need, bruh, to grow plants or veggies or anything, really? Well, you need a lot of shit, obviously. <laughs> 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 uh, like... Oh, shit. We got shit spots, even. <laughs> well, yeah, because, you know. She doesn't understand. Yeah, why is she all like ooing about it? To be fair, even when you do know that, it is still gross if you think about it. I don't know, I think you should think about it even though you're grossed out. I think it becomes less gross. That way you just appreciate it more. That is true. It's like, why are these dungeon hallways so freaking clean? Why are they not like littered with dead things and rot? You need them. I love this. It's really a living ecosystem. Mm-hmm. This is why the word itadakimasu when you eat bears so much weight. Ooh, barter system. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no. You guys have been stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know, like, oh, that's a treasure chest. Let me just take this. Mm, money. <laughs> Big oops. That's the thing that you never think about when you're, like, playing RPG games. Well, in this instance, it's because I think they probably ignored the signs that he put out there. 
Aww. I also grow attached to my vegetables, TBH. <laughs> hey, man, if you freaking put love and time into your anything, you grow attached to it. You know that it's gotta sell expensive. Like, who the heck brings in vegetables in a random place like this? Mm -hmm. It's like... Especially fresh food, like, underground, right? Right? This is, like, more ex more valuable than jewels. Hey, hey, guy, why don't you not appreciate the veggies? That's so fucked up. This guy's stupid. It's like, you need the gold to buy food. They're directly giving you food. Mm. <gasps> he hates How it. dare you? For real. Don't you know there's like a thousand gods in one grain of rice? Whoa, what mm -hmm. the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Oh. That guy got fucked. Okay, I don't know why I imagine these guys being green. I also imagine them primarily green, but I think a couple pages before had them in multiple colors. Okay. Look at look at Laos with his carrots and <laughs> Yeah. He's like <laughs> Oh, we got a preview of the kobolds. You could make yogurt or cheese. I don't know about quite rotten milk. I, I understand what rotten milk is, but I think you need to rot it in correct ways, though. I still think people of back in the day, they could still find a way to salvage that. Maybe if you, like, distill it away from what's, like, actually harmful in your body. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Jarred. You know if you open that bottle, it's gonna be bright. For people who know what the heck they're looking at, like, dude, that's not rotten. I think you have to, like, specifically put it in, like, a jar, though, because I think if you were to leave literally open milk out in the air to rot, I think that comes out as actually spoiled. <laughs> now we... This was his entire plan. I just want to make bread. I'm so glad that females in monster races like this actually look like the males in this series. <laughs> it's literally too many times where Japan is too much of a coward where literally the guys are like beasts and the ladies are just humans with the ears and tail. It's so annoying. <laughs> Basically just anime girls, yeah. Yes. Why are the chinchillas look so cute? Because it's a child. Children are like that. They, they tend to be. To bury the gap between two warring countries is food. Mm hmm Exchanging food. People want Marcel's trying to make an argument for her. Instead of exchanging words and fists, they exchange food. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's great for the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, she does not give a shit. He just wants to care about the bread. Let's go. Thorman? Well, he said tall man. It sounds like Thorman. Haruman? Toruman. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, no. They definitely mean tall because humans are literally just tall. I think it would make more sense if they called him Thorman. Like, if they had, like, you know... What, for being strong? Because you have dwarves right there. No, I'm talking tall, about, right? like, you know, the association with, um, what is that? Uh, Nordic gods. Ooh. Damn fighting words, lady. That's cool with me. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, child. I wanted one. You gotta... I, I would want one. It's like, nope, you gotta wait for it to fluff. Oh, fuck yeah. How is it that rotten stuff can make amazing stuff? Well, specifically fermented milk. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but it is crazy. Someone had to, like, just kept milk in a container long ago and just thought, huh, it's not quite spoiled, but it's almost edible. Like, not though. Someone had to figure out rotten horse paste was just somehow something you could eat. And it was actually healthy for you. Because man cannot live by bread alone. Exactly. Yeah, and nowadays, sometimes they also recommend just throwing in, like, a fish for good measure. Fish is good for you. A variety of things. You can't just, like, lean towards one thing. Just like what Senshi said last episode or so ago. Ooh, potatoes and chickens. Cock. I like, I like oh. it, like, the Lord of the Rings. They're like, how do you tell the difference between a female dwarf and a male dwarf? It's like, one has a beard, one doesn't. Like, here, like, they, they could do still... Do the taco! Like, what... Oh, I want it. Oh my god, I want some of this. But yeah, no, like, see, like, you can just have your orc women just look like women, but orcs. <laughs> it's not hard. Can I trust you, though? You got the eyes of a man. Like, how many humans have actually promised this and, like, betrayed them? Oh. Dang, they know their place. This is why you need binding contracts. If you mm -hmm. live in a world like this, you you should use magical binding contracts. This orc, he just looked at Laos' eyes and probably thought, you know what, I think he might be crazy enough to do it. 
<laughs> no. Oh, I heard that title drop. It's so wholesome. It makes me hungry every single time. It kind of makes you want to be like, hmm, for those picky eaters out there, you should just at least give it a little try. You never know. You might like it. So in the case of what it's doing so far, it's doing another two chapters, but it still feels pretty good. I wonder if they went quick to start just because of getting stuff in a pacing purpose, because some of these later chapters get hella lore heavy after a while. What? I love that. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I guess pretty lore heavy, but they want you to enjoy the dungeons for now. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, it's good if it's going to slow down anyway because of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Which good. I'm all for. Have I mentioned this? But I still like the art at this ending. Mm -hmm. It is still forever bugging me that they don't include the nutritional values of every meal they make. <laughs> go read the manga. <laughs> They're like, go read the manga for that. If the reason is for squeezing information purposes, I mean, you can still squeeze that in there. There's there's a lot of space. I think they should use a chart for that instead of just writing it down like, it, like this is this, this is that. They should have like a little chart. Yeah, that's exactly what the manga did. They had both the writing and the chart. But I'm just saying they should just get rid of the writing and just use the chart like beep, 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 beep. part of the comedy is not just the nutrient value it's, it's just exactly what goes into it where they say like oh and also two mushroom feet just went into you like <laughs> there's just an extra bit that goes into that <laughs> that adds in the cherry on top yeah that's for like manga readers only if you want that extra you need to go read the manga hey it's n thanks so much for watching our reactions please don't forget to leave a like and comment it really does help out the channel a lot and if you enjoy our content and would like to see them uncut and early they're available on our membership. We appreciate you guys just hanging out with us. And until the next one, we'll catch you guys later.